Hey, all right, guys. I'm building up a new quad. It's going to be a seven inch, seven incher long range. It's based on the Race Day Quad Source One frame. And I've got a Mamba stack in there, which is like their cheap $45 flight control stack. And I got a Cadex Retail. And I've got a GPS to put in there. So this is going to be a pretty legit long range rig. Okay, built up. 539 grams. That's with a camera. That's with the Runcam 5. And that is no battery. So that's going to be more or less replacing this 5 inch quad that weighs in 443 grams with a GoPro Session 4. So almost exactly 100 grams for two more inches of prop. Uh, I'm hoping to get some longer flights. Let's go test it out. I'm pretty excited. First flights are always really exciting. I tested it out around the house last night in the backyard. It hovered good. Didn't seem to have a problem, but you never know. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with just a super small, three, super light three cell battery. Just a little practice run, make sure that the drone does still fly. And uh, I won't be able to get a ton of power or speed on this little battery, which is for the best. But it'll give me a chance to test it out. Also leaving the HD camera out for now. Just going to fly around. I might, if I, I've set the uh, GP rescue, GPS rescue up. And I, sh I set it for 50 meters so I can test it without flying too far away. Uh, make sure that works. I have a plan for long range. I think less than a thousand meters out, which shouldn't be a problem. But I don't want to test it until I'm absolutely ready. Well, everything was fine on this uh, three cell battery. It gently flew around. It had plenty of power to lift. It uh, really felt a lot like flying a five inch drone, just a very smooth and stable five inch drone. The drone even sounds smoother than I'm used to. It's just really, really quiet sounding. And um, yeah, the, the, the battery life on this little three cell, usually I get about three minutes out of a pack. It's a really crappy old pack, but I flew around for about five minutes on this, just kind of gently, gently hovering and flying around. I was kind of dissatisfied with the <laughs> landscape here with the, the dull winter brownish greens. So I just took them out and amped up the blues with a hue saturation curve playing around. Just thought it looked kind of cool. Something interesting at least. So the new default OSD in Betaflight 4.2, whatever I'm using, is different. It Maybe you could have always been able to adjust the font size, but it was so much easier, bigger and easier to read. Um, and I really, really liked that. So that was a huge improvement. As far as this is also my first quad on Betaflight 4.2, maybe that's one reason why this flew so good. I'm going to update a 5-inch so that I can get the feel and see if it's different but uh it definitely just felt really extra planted and smooth to me and that maybe that's beta flight and not just the fact that this is a new quad uh but yeah it was great for cruising i'm running uh 2306 motors which a lot of people say are too small for seven inch but i felt like it had tons of power on this 4s it, it really had no problem they're 1700 kv on this 4s 1300 pack lipo pack i ended up getting about eight minutes and i landed at 14.5 volts so i'm sure i could have flown a lot more half of that was just cruising around and the other half was some high throttle accelerations and flying up and down some spins and stuff so so fortunately after that four cell pack i came to the realization that i hadn't attached the receiver very good the radio receiver was a little bit loose in there the sticky side of tape wasn't planted very good and i didn't i didn't have anything with me to fix it and i didn't feel like taking it on another flight with that thing possibly falling out so i got out the five inch i brought along with me and i decided to go ahead and do the long range mission anyway i really wanted to know how far it was to that tower and it ended up to be 
quite a bit farther than I thought it was going to be. It was about seven. No, it was. I thought it was about six, seven hundred meters. It was actually right at a thousand meters, at one kilometer to get from where I was standing over to this water tower, which uh, made a really nice long range target. I was using my LiPo pack, I'm, my lithium ion pack, my new lithium ion 4000 Sam, Samsung cell pack that I've built for long range cruising. And I flew over and back and flew around for about 10 minutes and then landed and I still had plenty of battery. So um, no problems flying over here on my five cell, on my uh, old five inch, but you can't see it because this camera, this is a run cam five and it's electronically stim, uh, <laughs> electronically uh, not stimulated. <laughs> it's electronically um, stabilized, but the in the uh, goggles feed was really, really shaky compared to the seven inch I'd been flying around. And I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's the way it normally looks. Still fine to fly, but that quad is also getting a little bit shaky. So this maybe needs some, needs to be some, some work or something done to it. But um, overall, I'm super happy with the seven inch build. I have under $200, probably about 160, 170 invested. Um, 40 for the motors, 30 for the frame, uh, 40 for the flight stack, and then I had the camera, I had the video transmitter, so I had the receiver, so I didn't have to buy a whole lot. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.